All right, team, it's the holiday season, and you know what that means. It's time to force ourselves to watch ads. Yes, usually I always skip the ads, but today I'm going to be forcing myself to watch them, um, <laughs> and it'll be painful, I'm sure. That's a joke. Really, I thought it might just be fun to check out some of the VR Christmas ads that have been going out, some of the holiday specials in the virtual space, you know, some of that classic stuff. If I'm being honest, I'm making this video because I'm bored and I want to make some jokes at Meta's expense. This is all in good fun. Ho, 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 and, and all that. All right, so I just Googled VR Meta Christmas commercials, so you know this is an official test. All right, now before I get into this year's Christmas commercials, I think we should take a look at how they advertised it last year, which uh, was the biggest amount of sales that Quest 2 ever saw, and which probably might not be replicated exactly this year, based on the articles I read. And I read at least one a day. That's me just trying to prove that I'm not illiterate. Let's click on this ad here. It's called Quest is Ready, Friends are Ready. Ready for what? Now, this is a commercial that came out last year, right before the holiday season. So we get to see the duality of time and ad. Tried to make that sound interesting. Let's just go. Okay, Davey, good game. You gonna be on tonight? Yeah, definitely. Cool, see you later. That's the voice of a guy who's definitely not gonna be on tonight. Yeah, definitely. I hear that all the time in VR chat. I'm always alone in those private lobbies with my questionable avatar. Dear friend, my pal, best my friend, pal. Pass it, pass it. That's such an aggressive teammate. Pass it! That being said, I do yell at a lot of strangers in VR, so I'd be that teammate. Yeah! That's how it's done. Oh, do they not know that they're friends? That's you fun. Play one more after this? Yeah, one more. Yeah, I mean, actually, that was the first time I got my heart broken. What? Wait, they're talking about heartbreaks? So I think the story of this is that these two guys are exclusively VR friends and also next door neighbors, and they don't know that. But I don't know, if I was telling somebody about my heartbreak online, I think I would also mention, like, what city I live in, and maybe we'd narrow it down. That being said, it's a fun commercial. I like Demio. That's the game being played here. Go check it out. Well... Oh, that got deep all of a sudden. <laughs> Wait, I want to go back to this part. Uh, that is kind of a sad a sad image they're painting. Imagine getting consoled about your heartbreak by a stranger on VR. <laughs> I say imagine, but last week I did have a couple of conversations. Let's move on. That was the first time I got my heart broken. Well, she didn't deserve you, Ming. She didn't deserve you, bro. Oh, that got deep all of a sudden. <laughs> You're the one who made it deep. Now talk to your buddy on the elevator. This is your virtual friend. Bit nippy out. So what? Right there. You got him. See, wait, how did they not recognize each other's voice? Is that what happened there? Or is it just... <sighs> These boys were meant to be together in friendship. You got him. Yeah! Population got one here. <laughs> did they hear each other through the wall? <laughs> Oi, keep it down! No, you keep it down! Oh, wouldn't that be awesome if they got into, like, a violent dispute and it wasn't until they filed charges against each other that they realized they were really best friends all along. Boy, do I know how to write a messed up story. Sorry, neighbors. I know. I can't stand mine either. Where were we? Winning. Oh, yes. Winning. Oh, they never even meet? Uh, talk about a Romeo and Juliet story that never really, never really saw its true end. Actually, I take that back. Romeo and Juliet ended with them both dying. I'm glad that that didn't... Uh... What am I getting at? That ad was kind of interesting, kind of fun, and it was a minute long. That's my review. I do stand by the fact that that story didn't make a whole lot of sense. But you know, advertising. All right, now let's go to the next option here. Now, this is from last month. This is their official 2020 holiday ad. Let's see if it's improved at all from last year. Okay, very Christmassy. As you can see, they've got the, uh, what the hell are these called? Ornaments. They got the ornaments. I'm festive. Fun music. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I see. They're advertising the Iron Man game. I thought they were trying to show that they literally purchased her, like, a life-sized Iron Man in a poor pose. I love yeah, no, they're advertising the Iron Man game. That's what's happening. Wait, what is that supposed to be? The Iron Man one was obvious. Is this some sort of keyblade or I imagine each gift is representing a different VR game. Is this one representing like a gardening game? Maybe a trowel? Bring that guy seemed confused too. 
Okay, like, what the hell did Bring. you give me here? It's shaking. Possibly radioactive. Bring peace on to give the gift of VR. Now your grandpa can get beat up in the ring. <laughs> I love how happy she looks to be getting a chainsaw so she can finally dismember zombies. Dreams really do come true. <laughs> look at the sadistic family. They're like, look, we're letting the horde in. Good luck. This is actually a cool ad, though. This is a pretty, a pretty cool way to uh, advertise the VR experience in a cinematic way. Though I will say, maybe promising a little bit too much. I mean, if I saw this ad and was expecting this to be what it's like in VR, well, I don't think anyone's in that position. Okay, what did this guy, what is that? I still don't know. Oh, it's a, some sort of vapor laser sword. Great table physics. They have great table physics in this bar. You brought us a football team? Just saying, this video game is causing a lot of property damage. This is a simulation of how many glass windows you break when you're playing VR. <laughs> okay. They all had a good time. You can see they're having a good time. And then you got to do that integrated Iron Man ad. Remind people that we're making money off Iron Man. Wish for the extraordinary. MetaQuest 2. That was a fun commercial. I do think this presents kind of that interesting question with VR, which is how do you really promote it? Um, I've always been in the camp of just show people real gameplay and real apps so you can sell them on what's actually the product. But then there's also this angle of advertising, which is equally effective where you're selling them on the dream, selling them on the uh, more experiential, emotional aspect. Let's, let's move on. I think we have one more. I want to be quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. I want to. And I want to be quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Only one of us can win. Carry 80,000 fans to victory. You know, nothing major. No, that's major. Okay, I get that they're doing the NFL Pro Air integration. This one I, I don't like as much because if you're at home really dreaming of becoming the quarterback of an NFL team, then um, you probably shouldn't spend your time in the NFL VR game. You should go practice in real life. If it was a guy daydreaming where he's like, I want to know what it feels like to be this because I'm never actually going to put in the effort to do it, then this would work because that's why I love VR personally. I put in very little effort in most physical activities. But in crazy kung fu, I can actually fight. I'm, re I'm revealing too much about myself now. Come on, anything else with some holiday spirit? Oh yes, here's the ad we're gonna end it on. Oscar and June want to hang. <laughs> I've never seen a more suspicious title for an advertisement. Among Us VR, of course. They've gotta be sus in their ad naming. I wish I could see June this holiday. Okay. Some time with Oscar would be nice. Hanging at the cafeteria. Hanging at the cafeteria? She looked like she was like almost 30. Why are you hanging at a cafeteria? June, is, is Oscar making you hang out at the cafeteria? Is this where he brings you on dates? Cause Oscar's a deadbeat if that's happening, I'm just saying. At least go to an Applebee's. Causing trouble. Running around the ship. Causing Lying trouble. Through my teeth. Oh, they're talking about Among Us. <laughs> of course they're talking about the game that they're advertising. Never mind my cafeteria comment, June, you're doing great. Ship. Lying through my teeth defending my crew in emergency meetings, especially Oscar. That's my guy. Oscar's the imposter. Look at him. Don't defend him. He's not your guy. He's lying to you. He's the imposter. June, I need to get on this ship. I need to teach them some sense. The chaos. June won't suspect a thing. See? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what, what I'm wishing for. I called it. Oh, June. Oscar. Oscar's gonna two-time you. Following you. Oh, this is quite the animation. What a tragic story. That was the story of how Oscar two-timed his old pal June. Merry Christmas. Well, there you have it. A pretty comprehensive review. And by review, I mean uh, I just kind of watched the ads and commented. You know, the way a review should be. Unprofessional and with little research. Uh, that aside, this was all just for fun. I'm looking forward to see where VR goes in the new year. Looking forward to see where we go in the new year. <laughs> that was a weird 
way to say that. Merry Christmas and uh, or Happy Holidays. Happy every holiday. If you don't like holidays, then, you know, Happy Wednesday. What I'm trying to say is uh, those were ads.